darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Hi there guys, this is Drew Beasy, and today we are playing This Oblivion. is the 27th of Last Seed. This is hands down my favorite installment in the Elder Scrolls series. Um, this is the fourth, and in my opinion, honestly, this is the the best made one. And I'll go into that in, in a few minutes. Right now, I want to introduce my character. His name is um, Offcoff. Or at least that's what we will be referring to him yeah. in this episode. Um, he's an Argonian from the Black Marsh, uh, which is a province uh, southeast of um, uh, Morrowind, if you're uh, knowledgeable with the lore and uh, geography of Nern. If not, then uh, just ignore <laughs> all of the really nerdy Elder Scrolls references that will be riddled throughout this video. Um, Arskarsh is um, uh, Argonian, like I said, and un unlike many of my other characters I've played before, I am going to play just a pure melee style. I'm going to try and stay away from uh, any sort of magic, really, which ironically is one of the main reasons I favorite this game over a lot of the yeah. uh, other Elder Scrolls. Not that I don't like them. Um, like, Morrowind is a beautiful game, especially with its expansions. Um, and... Skyrim is, you know, I, I had a reserve on it and got it the day it came out. You know, it's a great game. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know, I felt like Skyrim was dumbed down a little bit. It was made with a much simpler in interface than uh, Oblivion, and I think that's why everyone's gone so s just crazy over it, is it's, you know, it's not that difficult to, to play it well. While in Oblivion, uh, as in Morrowind and Daggerfall and Arena, um, the beginning area of how you stat your character really plays a big, big key role in how your character does throughout the games. Um, and that's just because, you know, these games are based solely off of, well, not solely, but, you know, their inspiration for all these games came from, you know, a lot of the tabletop games, D&D, &D and, you know, a lot of the branches of that and, you know, a lot of the earlier uh, tabletop stuff, which was all pen and paper, you know, and the way you played was completely over dice so you know statistical chance really played a big area and the higher your numbers were you know the better the easier it was to roll what you needed and that these games take that instance in the sense that if you don't put some thought into what kind of character you want to have how you're going to play you know beforehand then you end up you know hitting a glass ceiling to where the stuff around you is leveled over you and you can't handle it. You just get stomped on. And, you know, there's only so far back you can revert to saves to try and save that. You know, you know I, I had that problem when I first started playing you know, these games. I'll admit, I didn't start with Morrowind. I started with Oblivion. And, you know, one of the major problems I had in the beginning was trying to play it like RuneScape. It's where, you, know, you just play it every class, you know, just whatever, you know. As well. and, and you can't play this one that way. You really have to have a set goal in mind of what you want to achieve. And you'll see that here. Um, I looked through a few of the other uh, the other birth signs, but really the best one for what I'm going for is the warrior, hands down. Um, and then the stats I have my major and minors in are uh, blunt weapons, heavy armor. I think herb lore, ag agility, and, uh, and something else. I can't remember what I put my last one in. I don't. I, I didn't include it in this either, so you'll just have to take my word for it. But yeah, I'm going specifically for a. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes frustration must be dealt with. But um. Yeah, this character is very different from any of the others I've played before. I've always been just a caster. I play primarily magic-based characters, and it's just what I like, you know. In League of Legends, I play a lot of Annie and a lot of a lot of other uh, AP carries. It's just how I like it. But I decided to change things up. 
give it a little bit of a up and close melee kind of feel, and I have been playing a lot of uh, Pirates, Vikings, and Knights, which you guys will see plenty of videos of, I promise you. <laughs> Most of you probably don't even know what Pirates, Knights, and Vikings is, but you will. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's not just like this game, it takes a lot of its inspiration from the combat from the Elder Scrolls series and um, what about that a few of its that? earlier uh, installments. And Let's takes go. this first person combat style to an arena deathmatch. And it's all medieval. A lot of you probably heard of Chivalry, but it came out a lot long before Chivalry, and in my opinion, is a much more fuller game, like a full game. Like, well, in Chivalry, you have these set classes that you can stat certain you know, things know. into in Pirates and Vikings. Good options, you have these set classes, set weapons, set specials, and it, just the way it's played is a lot more strategic. But, back to uh, the topic of the video that we're on. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the end, you know, we're getting to the end of the tutorial part, and that's probably where I'm going to wrap it up on this video. But this also will be probably one of my last long videos. I see that a lot of people aren't really finishing any of the videos I'm making, so I'm going to shorten them down and see if you guys don't like that also I'm gonna try some montages and I can go no take the maybe some game reviews even find uh, him. you know we'll I'm see just gonna change stuff up tell me how you guys like it or if you like the stuff I'm still you know give me a like a subscribe uh, comment, oh, tell me I'm doing something good. right uh, and not uh, that I'm just sucking it up <laughs> oh fun fun till daddy took the t-word away Yeah, this is the oh shit moment where you're like, son of a bitch, I can't believe I'm that far behind. Didn't save since then. <laughs> I can go no. The Take the amulet. Again. Find him. But yeah, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in, watching, coming with me on this adventure, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.